السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Hello dear students, I hope you're all doing well uh, Welcome to our chemistry channel Easy, easy chemistry uh, for all um, Before we go on, please don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel Share it with your friends And let's try and reach our first 1000 subscriber So that we can keep going um, um, with the lessons And to keep uploading uh, videos hopefully every week um, so I'm Mr. Maad and we are going to start inshallah the first introduction to grade 12 advanced chemistry and hopefully after this video you will recall some of the chemistry concepts you studied in grade 10 advanced and we'll go over the topics of term 1 for grade 12 advanced okay so this will be just a refresher for you guys to remember a little bit of the chemistry you studied in grade 10 advanced Okay, so what, do you, what did you cover in grade 10 advanced chemistry? So you started in module 4, guys, electrons in atoms, and you covered uh, lesson 2 and lesson 3. Lesson 1 was uh, enrichment. So basically, uh, we focused on the atom, like the models of the atom, and mainly uh, Bohr's model and the quantum mechanical model. We studied the electrons, where do they live, uh, how can we represent them? Okay, so basically we covered the orbitals, uh, energy levels, energy sublevels, sp, df, if you remember. Okay, and we did electron configuration in lesson three, if you remember, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and so on. We um, have the atom of the element and we know how many electrons are there and then we assign these electrons through the orbital diagram or the electron notation so this is this was basically the main points that we covered in module 4 uh, in grade 10 advanced after that we moved to module 5 and module 5 dealt with the periodic table okay so we covered the properties of the periodic table how it was developed who are the scientists behind it mendeleev and Mosley and so on okay and in lesson two we classified elements based on their electron notation and then we went to periodic trends like ionization energy electronegativity atomic radius and so on remember these are the periodic table trends ionization energy electronegativity atomic radius all right so if you go from left to the right they increase if you go from up and down they increase and so on so we learned how elements differ in these trends throughout the periodic table okay uh, then we moved on to module six uh, which was basically about ions and ionic compounds if you remember okay and this was a famous uh, um, fact that i or yeah famous uh, statement that i always shared with 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 my students is that Atoms have one goal in life, and that is to have eight valence electrons. If you remember the octet rule, so they, in their highest energy level, they need to have eight valence electrons. And how do they achieve that? They achieve that by forming chemical bonds. Okay, so we studied chemical bonds, and we basically focused on the ionic bond. And remember, the ionic bond means that one ion is positive, one ion is negative, and they attract. So one atom loses an electron, becomes a positive ion like this so Na becomes Na positive and this ion that is lost is gained by another atom like Cl it becomes Cl negative and, th and thus an ionic bond is formed okay and then we learned about the ionic bond and compounds okay the formulas and how can we uh, write the chemical formula for the ionic compound, how we can give the name of the ionic compound, how we can give names for ions and anions, the negative and positive ions, okay, and, an ion, and that an ionic compound is made from a metal and a non-metal, all right, so basically that was the summary of module six. After that, we went to study another type of bonding, and that is covalent bonding in module seven, and we focused about, or we focused on the covalent bond. So if you remember ionic bond, electrons are transferred from one atom to another but in the covalent bond electrons are shared so they are shared between two atoms okay especially between non-metals or metalloids so covalent bond was about sharing of electrons okay again this was all so that 
the atoms can achieve the octet rule, eight valence electrons. If you count how many valence electrons are around atom A, two, four, six, and eight, and B, two, four, six, and eight. So now they are happy. That's why they form this covalent bond, All right? And then in term two, we studied chemical reactions, the tafawalat al-kimiaiya, wal muadalat al-kimiaiya, wazn al-muadalat, okay, balancing chemical equations. So we have reactants and products. Remember, chemical reactions is a change that happens when more, one or more substance uh, form one or more uh, new substance or products, okay? And we studied the four main types of chemical reactions, Th synthesis, it's a queen, decomposition, it's a fakuk, okay, single replacement with a compound and an element and then double replacement with ionic compounds or salts basically where ions switch their places okay and we learned how to balance chemical equations for example here you have two fe here you have only one you have three o's here you have two o's so we learned how to balance by adding the coefficients remember the numbers that we put in front of uh, the substances in a chemical reaction now we have a balanced chemical equation, okay? Now, this is very important to revise, guys, okay? Especially this module. If you still have the book or you can type those um, those concepts on YouTube or Khan Academy and then you can revise them, it's going to be very helpful because we are going to use uh, some of these in, 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 in our grade 12 advanced curriculum, okay? After that, we, mo we move to the mole like the calculations in chemistry, okay? So how do we calculate the number of atoms, the number of molecules? So chemists came up with a concept called the mole, and one mole is equal to this number, 6.022 times 10 to the power 23. So if you have one mole of mobile phones, it means you have 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 mobile phones. It's like saying, uh, it's like saying dozen. You know dozen? Dozen means you have 12. So mole means this number. Okay? So it's a unit for measuring large quantities of small uh, particles like atoms or molecules. And we also talked about the molar mass. And the molar mass is the mass of one mole of a matter. So molar mass is the mass of one mole of matter. And we use this equation to find masses of different moles. So mass equals molar mass times the moles. This is, again, very important for you to revise because we are going to use it in grade 12 advanced, okay? And you know that the molar masses is given to you most of the times, or you can find it in the periodic table, all right? After that, we went to stoichiometry. So stoichiometry, we uh, integrated concepts from module uh, 9 and 8. So we use chemical reactions and mole calculations in stoichiometry. So calculations, the calculations that we use from a balanced chemical equation is called stoichiometry. Okay. And like you learn how to calculate how many, how many moles or how many, or how many grams will you have uh, after a uh, a certain reaction so we do cal we did calculations we learned about limiting reactant and excess reactant we learned about the percent yield and so on okay so we went through these calculations basically um, on chemical reactions okay and then in term three we studied states of matter halat al madda we covered the kinetic molecular theory of gases and what does it stipulate okay these are the uh, main five uh, concepts of the kinetic molecular theory of gases, which you can go through. And after that, in module 12, we focused about on we focused on gases and calculations of the properties of gases, mainly P, pressure, volume, temperature, number of moles, and the gas constant. So, if you remember these gas laws, do you remember Boyle's law, Charles's law, Guy-Lussac uh, law, and when they're combined? Okay, then we learned about the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. We studied the manometer, okay, to calculate pressure. We studied Graham's law. We studied Dalton's law. All right, we covered Avogadro's law. So all of these calculations we covered in grade 10 uh, 
advanced regarding gases. We are not going to use them in grade 12 advanced, okay? But maybe we can like relate some of the concepts into, into the curriculum, all right? And then in module 13, which was the last module of grade 12, uh, 10 advanced, we covered mixtures and solutions. So, المخاليط والمحاليل. So, if you have a solute, المذاب, and the solvent, المذيب, and you mix them, you get a solution, محلول. So, basically, we covered the concentration of solution, تركيز المحاليل, dilute and concentrate, okay? So, the more of solute, المادة المذابة اللي تكون عندنا, the higher the concentration becomes, as you can see here, okay? And we learned how to represent this. كيف إن إحنا نمثل النول المحلول مشبع ولا غير مشبع أو تركيزه عالي أو منخفض. So using these equations, mainly molarity, number of moles of the solute over the liters of solution. So how many moles of salt I have in this solution, and I divide that by the liters of solution. Okay? So that was grade 10 advanced in a quick summary. All right? Now, what are we, what are the topics that we are going to cover in grade 12 advanced, insha'Allah? We are going to start our term with module 14, okay? And that is about energy and chemical change. So chemical change, remember, like reactions, okay? And energy, you know, energy from uh, your physics classes like joules. But we are going to apply that uh, to chemical reactions. So we have five lessons in this module, one, two, three, four, and five. The main idea of this module is that chemical reactions usually absorb or release energy. Alright, so I'm sure you heard about the word exothermic and endothermic before. So, in, do from inside, and ex from outside, exothermic, it means that the reaction releases heat. And we'll learn more about this, inshallah, in the future. Uh, we are also going to cover reaction rates, speed of chemical reactions. So we covered chemical reactions in, in grade 10 advanced. We are going to cover uh, uh, reaction rate or speed of reactions, inshallah, in, um, in, uh, in grade 12 advanced. And finally, we will... Uh, finish our term with module 16 which is chemical equilibrium al-ittizan al kimiai and we are going to cover more inshallah uh, when we come to that in the videos okay so we are going to start so our next video inshallah next video is going to be on lesson one of module 14 which is energy okay so hopefully you remembered some of uh, topics that you covered in 10 advanced and now we have a some idea of what we will study inshallah in 12 advanced term one uh, before we uh, finish please remember to share and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't done so and let's try and reach our first 1000 subscriber if you have any questions or any comments please use the comments section uh, or contact me uh, um, like using the information I provide in, in the video. Okay, so I wish you all the best and with tawfiq insha'Allah wa'am dirasi muwaffaq lil jami'ah. Take care.